Sock lads, welcome back to another video. Now today, I've once again forgot the scarf, but um, doesn't matter because we've got again a lot to talk about in today's video. From the Salasu deal finally being announced, War Prowl signing a new contract, and possibly two new signings coming very soon. So let's kick it off with um, McKenney, West McKenney. Um, so the start of the week, it looked like he was going to go to her to Berlin, but the deal for that fell through because. He wants to play in the Premier League, so that's good for Saints, isn't it? Because we do play in the Premier League, but uh, yeah, so that's why he didn't go. I think Schalke and Berlin have agreed a fee, obviously. Um, Hurst Berlin just had their uh, takeover, I believe, some sort of takeover. They've been spending a lot of money, but um, they couldn't time with any unlucky lads. Hopefully, we're going to get him. Apparently, in battle Wolves and Everton, I believe it is for him, but apparently we're in no negotiations. Um Shall go on about twenty million, which I believe would be around our record fee. I believe we paid around that for Ings, so that would probably be our record fee. If not, it'll be our second or third um, highest transfer fee paid. But I do think he'll be worth it. He'll be a great Hoiberg replacement. If you didn't watch the video I did last week on um, who I sh or who I think should replace Hoiberg, go and check that out after this video. And hopefully, to um, this week I'm going to be uploading who my defensive pairing will be um, now that Salasu has signed. Um, so yeah, stick around for that video if, you, if you're if you not already subscribed, remember to subscribe and turn the bell if you do not want to miss that video on um, the uh, centre-back pairing. Then after that, I think I'll do who should the goalkeeper I think should be, and then after that, I think I'll do my entire starting eleven. So if you don't miss those videos, remember to subscribe, and we're still going to be doing the weekly roundups as well. Um, so yeah, McKenney, I think he'll be a very good signing. Hopefully we can, I think we're still negotiating um they're around the 20 million mark so hopefully by this time next week we'll have that deal over the line um and in confirmed news that the seller suicide which has been going on for a month finally ended last week when we did announce um the signing of mohammed salasu finally from valladolid um still don't know what his number's going to be i'm going to guess it's going to be three um because obviously that number's been freed up since yoshida left um, two, he could also take since Cedric left. Um, so yeah, hopefully he'll probably take one of those. I think he'll take three. Um, but yeah, he'll be his very good signing. And now he's actually going to be putting on some pressure on Stevens and uh, Bednarek. I think I think if one of those have a bad start to the season, um, then he will get that a run in the team. But I think he'll start off the season as backup, considering those two looked a very good pairing at the end of the season. And yeah, if one of those do get injured or suspended. I wasn't very happy with Vestergaard coming in, so and that's good now that we've got a proper centre-back that we can rely on now. Who knows, he might be turning up to be the next Vestergaard, hopefully not. But yeah, hopefully he turns out to be a very good defender, because um, he's been hyped up to be. So hopefully, uh, I think he'll be good. I think he will. Young centre-back, he can't go wrong. Um, yeah, so hopefully, probably one for the future, that's why. I think he's only like 21, so... I think he needs to slowly adapt to life in the Premier League. He's not going to be starting every week at the moment, is he? So, yeah, very good signing, finally confirmed. And with the, the Salasu walk pick is still completed, now we can focus on transfers like McKenney and the one coming up. Anyway, uh, news reported out that LD Sports, our sponsor, they had a break clause in the contract. So it looks like they're going to pull out of being our sponsor. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but it looks like it's de definitely going to happen which is a bit of a, a bummer for me because I ordered the Saints third kit um, only a few days before that was announced. So that's a little bit annoying. So it hasn't come yet, but hopefully by next on the next few videos, you'll see me wearing it. But yeah, that is a bit of a fail right there because I actually ordered the kit and then the sponsor's now pulled out. So, well, probably going to pull out. I think the reason is I think Blackburn sponsored it too is the, like the, uh, the bit of, uh, what's it called, like, uh, I don't know what you really call it to be honest, like the thing going on between Britain and China, like the tense thing, um, about like all the, uh, Huawei and stuff like that. So I think that's the reason they're pulling out because of the, the bit of sourness between Britain and China at the minute, because our sponsor is Chinese, if you didn't know. I believe they also sponsor Espanol, I think, as well. Um, so hopefully we can sign it. There's not been a hundred percent confirmed yet, as I said, but it looks like it's going to happen. Um, and then we will probably need to find a new sponsor for the next season. Um, it's not a very nice looking sponsor anyway. You've probably seen it before if you've seen a Saint shirt. It's got that Chinese writing on it. 
Um, so hopefully we can find a little bit of a better looking sponsor for next season. Who knows, maybe we'll get Virgin Media back on the shirt. We had them for a while up until uh, last season. So yeah, and hopefully Under Armour pull out as well, considering the kits they made for us hasn't been too great. Although this season, to be fair to them, they've done a very good job on those kits. Um, and also the weekend, we were linked with Celtic midfielder Olivia and Charm, but I can't see that happening now, especially if we do end up signing McKenney, considering... Well, if we don't get that deal over the line, I guess in Charm could be a backup. Also, Everton and West Ham were linked with him. The, as I said, plays for Celtic, French midfielder. Um, and he's played for Man City as well only a few years ago. So he probably wants to prove himself again in England to show that Man City, who the player they missed out on was. Um, and yeah, he, I think he'd be a good solid signing. Um, but I'd probably prefer McKenney, not going to lie. We were linked with him, I believe, during the lockdown, kind of, but then the interest kind of cooled off, but then it went up again uh, this week. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen there. As I said, I would prefer McKenney, but he wouldn't be a backup. He, he would be a good backup option for McKenney if we don't end up getting him. Um, so, yeah, if McKenney all falls through, I guess, then Charm would be a good um, second choice to get behind McKenney. Um, and in some of the biggest deal of the week, kind of transfer news, James Will Prowse has been linked for a while now. He has signed a new Southampton contract until 2025. He extended his deal um, until 2025. So five years now he's the captain. That will, I believe, yeah, until he's 30. So he's still not going to be really young then, to be honest. He could still go for a few more years, especially if he is playing on deeper on, which he looks like is going to happen, um, playing deep on the pitch. So yeah, 2025, also we've been linked to a new deal for Bertrand. Hopefully we can get that one over the line. Um, soon enough so yeah I think that'll be good to get over the line that contract um, in terms of other contracts I'm not really sure who deal runs out in 2021 and whose deals we need to extend but apparently we're focusing on selling some players um, before we do get a McKinney like Carrillo he needs to go Hoyt needs to go um, Vestergaard needs to go um, Forza probably we should get him off to sell to kind of permanent deal who knows he's done very well there so we could keep him um, on a on a permanent but um we could keep i mean we could still have him at the club maybe he can become number one again but i think he's a bit too old to do so i believe he's 32 now but who knows goalkeepers can go on for a very long time until they're approaching 40 or if you see a booth on like above 40 so yeah i think um well you'll find out who i think should be the number one in my video coming in next week on who should start in between the sticks and finally um, apparently we've submitted a bid for Almeria Strike, I think it's Almeria's team in the Spanish second division, for their striker Darwin Nunes of 10 million. Um, we don't need another striker, we've got four already that I'd keep. Um, but that might be because Obafemi's been linked to a move away to either Villa or West Brom, but definitely keep him. Um, I'd much rather have him than Nunes, just because he's a homegrown player, he's come through the club's academy, and I'd rather keep him because he looks like one for the future. I believe Nunes isn't too old as well, but... Um, yeah, I'd rather not sign him and keep all of him. You need to spend that 10 mil on, let's say, a winger or something like that because we don't need another striker and we need wingers, really. So I'd say I say we spend it on that rather than a striker and obviously McKenney. Um, but hopefully we can get some more money from, like, the sales. I say, of Carrillo, Hoyt, um, Vestergaard. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's actually going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching another video of the Southampton Weekly Roundup. Um, if you heard any more news about Saints, if you do, let me know in the comments below if they are enabled. I don't know what's happening. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. So if they are, go and tell me who you think we should sign in Charm or McKenny. Obviously, I do the polls, but you do remove them as well. So again, bit of a fail from them. But yeah, thanks for watching today, guys. And we I'll see you um in that video of who I you think uh, who I think their defensive pairing should be for Saints going into next season. I'll see you in that video, guys.